Good afternoon, hockey fans. Thank you for joining us, and welcome to the beautiful Peace Memorial Multiplex here in Wainwright, Alberta, where we've got day two action of the Hockey Alberta Senior AA Provincial Championship Tournament. Opening the day here, we have the Elk Point Elks against the Spirit River Rangers. And we'll bring you the start of hockey action after listening to the singing of O Canada. Spirit River Rangers. Missouri Goalies, or Elk Point, number 35. Paul, Fulton. And for Spirit River, number 34, Brandon Wells. This afternoon, we would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the traditional territory of the indigenous people of the Treaty 6 region and the Métis settlements and Métis nations of Alberta, regions 2, 3, and 4. We respect the history, languages, and cultures of First Nations, Métis, Inuit, and all First Peoples of Canada, whose presence continues to enrich our community. It is at this time we ask everyone to rise and able to remove your hats for the play of Old Canada. And we are ready to go for the opening game of day two of the provincial championships here in Wainwright. My name is Zach McLaughlin and working alongside me running the cam camera is Raina Murray. And we'll be bringing you all the action here today with a pair of hockey games on the schedule. As we work through the round robin of this tournament. Things started yesterday with an afternoon game on a Thursday with the Elk Point Elks taking on the Siksika Buffaloes. The Buffaloes came away with the opening win of the tournament. Over the Elk Point Elks. And then in the evening, the Rangers went up against the host Wainwright Wrestlers. The Wrestlers ended up Picking up the victory there, so both these teams looking for their first win of the tournament. And starting their trek towards the gold medal game on Sunday afternoon. The Elks now pick up the puck in the neutral zone and come down the right wing. Fire a sharp angle shot, but that one is blocked. And the Rangers come away with it. They flip it up in the air, trying to spring... A teammate down ice and now an icing call, but that one was a little quick. The puck hadn't reached the goal line yet, and the Rangers voicing their displeasure on the early whistle. Your starting goaltenders for this matchup in the white uniforms is Paul Bouillon of the Elk Point Elks, and in blue, Brandon Wells of the Spirit River Rangers, who drew the start last night against the wrestlers. This is Bouillon's first start of the tournament. And now the Elks win the draw. Mullen fires a shot from the point, and the blocker save is made. And now the Rangers come away with the rebound, but they turn it over in the neutral zone, and the Elks have a chance to get the puck in deep. Hey. 
Rangers now quickly up ice. It's Leftley. He gets it knocked off his stick, but he has a chance to chase it down in behind the net. Elks come away with it, though, and now they turn up ice. They give it away in the neutral zone. St. Pierre picks it up, drops it there for Leftley. Cross crease pass through a bunch of skates looking for St. Pierre. He finds it in the corner. Now Leftley in the other corner. He takes a shot right in the chest of Bouillon and he holds on for the faceoff. So we're about a minute and a half into this game. Both teams just feeling their way through the opening few minutes here. Getting their legs back underneath them after a couple of hard fought games yesterday. Elks come away with it off the draw, flip it way up in the air. And it's not going to be deep enough for it is deep enough for icing in another quick whistle as that puck once again did not reach the goal line when the icing whistle was blown. Looked like Ori Wood had a chance to get there first. But whistle and an icing call comes all the way down to Elk Point territory. And now the Rangers win the draw. Scoop it in behind the net. It's St. Pierre with it there. Now to Leftley in the slot. That passes in his skates and he couldn't get a shot off. The Elks through the middle of the ice. It's Wood trying to fire a long shot from the neutral zone, but it was blocked. Now chance in front. A little backhander from the low slot, but the save is made by Wells. And the Rangers able to get the puck deep and go for a full service line change. Rangers from the neutral zone now. It's turned over just outside the Elk Point blue line, and the Elks get it in deep thanks to Lonsberry. Sending the puck all the way down ice. He's going to go for a change. Now the Rangers, this is a late penalty coming, have an odd man rush here. They don't have time to get a shot off, though, and now a chance there. But the save is made. The Rangers retain possession, and now eventually Bullion's able to get his big glove on it. And it's going to be a slashing penalty. That's going to send Aaron Gagne to the box for two minutes. And the Spirit River Rangers are going to get the first power play of the afternoon here. The Elks penalty kill didn't have a whole lot of work to do yesterday. There was actually no penalties called in that game between the Elks and the Buffaloes until about halfway through the third period. And I think the Elks only had one, maybe two penalty kills to deal with in that game, but they get an early one here. Say they're from the point now. And a hard shot from the faceoff dot, but Bouyen makes the save and holds on as he slows things down. And the Elks are going to go for a change here in between whistles. Now from the point, Smiley works to the half wall. Pass down to the side of the goal. Leftly can't get it to his forehand, and now a battle along the wall. It eventually comes to Smiley at the point. He works it to the captain, Leftly, and now a saucer pass back to Smiley. And a good play by Whitford to break up the blue line to blue line pass there and nearly sprung himself on a shorthanded breakaway. Captain picks it up at center ice. Goes between his legs, trying to make a move to step around the defender. Eventually gets the puck up to Smiley at the point, and now down low. From behind the net, he's swinging around into the corner. And Sather's cross-ice pass is out of Smiley's reach, so the Elks have a chance to slow things down and clear the puck all the way down. As there's now only 35 seconds remaining in this Gagne penalty. Mapping right through the middle of the ice with speed. He's got St. Pierre with him, but he drops it 
to Lefley, and his shot is up and over the net. The Elks clear it once again. And now we're just 15 seconds away from full strength hockey. One last clearance from the Elks, and that's going to about do it. It's Gagne standing, primed and ready to get back on the ice, and here he is. We're back to five on five. First penalty kill of the night for the Elks, successful. Gagne rings around the boards, trying to get out of the zone, but St. Pierre gets there first. His shot's deflected over the net. And now a battle in the corner. Lefley's in there. Coots and Moen for the Elks digging away at it. And Elk Point gets possession as Labonte flying down the right wing. Cuts to the middle of the ice, but loses control of the puck. And so the Elks just have to dump it in and tag up to get onside. Lazarick fans on the pass a little bit, but gets it to his teammate anyway. But the Rangers not able to enter the zone cleanly. Wells comes out and leaves it there for McNeil. He slams on the brakes. And they fan on the pass again. The Elks now flip it forward. Can't connect on the pass, and that gives the Elks a chance to pick it up. Start a rush of their own. Speedy circling back in his own end. They get it to Lonsberry, chips it forward. The Rangers get a hold of it, but they send it down the ice a little too firmly, and that's going to be an icing call. Time flying in this first period with few whistles. 13-17 now remaining in this opening period of day two. Elks come away with it off the draw and just send the puck deep. A couple of four checkers on the chase. And Beattie's able to keep it in and inside the blue line, but his shot is scooped out of the air by Wells. No problem. Held on to for another draw. Elks win the draw, but they can't control the puck. And now the Rangers with a chance to chip it in deep and go to work here in the offensive zone. Uyghur keeps it down low. He didn't have any didn't have any teammates there to help him out. The Elks now pick it up and they got an odd man rush here. They come in and fire a shot. That shot from Leshowski but right in the gut of Wells makes the easy save. Rangers win the draw in their own zone. Have a little trouble getting outside the blue line, though. Now they regroup behind the net, and they're going to try all over again. Send it up ice, and that stretch pass just a bit too strong. And another icing call here is just as I said time was flying by, we've got icing calls all over the place now. Elks win the draw. Try and fire a quick one right off the faceoff. But now a second chance. Both those shots were blocked. The Elks retain possession as Labonte in the corner. He tries to send it out front to Roy, but a couple of Rangers sticks in the way prevented that. And now Lazarus with the puck. Flips it to himself to try and split the D. 
but can't hold on to the bouncing puck, and Gagne is able to get it deep, forcing the Rangers to regroup once again. They cross the blue line, coming in, fire a shot from the high slot, and Bouillon with a good save coming out of his crease a bit to cut down the angle and holds on to the face off. Rangers with the offensive zone draw and a, another shot from above the faceoff dot, or above the faceoff circle, I should say, held on to by Bouillon. Elks win the draw this time. Played up off the boards. And a little move by Whitney there. Resulted in a loose puck and another icing call. Now the Rangers with a chance from the right face-off dot, but Bouillon with another good save. And now Spirit River trying to put some pressure on the Elks here as we're nearing the halfway mark of the period. Elks win the draw. Play right up the middle of the ice. Whitford's there and sends it deep with Whitney on the other side to chase it down. Rangers get the puck back and try and play it down the ice, but it ends up in their own bench. So they got a faceoff coming inside Rangers territory here. Face-off win for the Rangers, and the puck ended up trickling onto the goal. So Wells holds on. We'll get a quick reset. Now the Elks from the point, a long shot, an easy blocker save made by Wells. Now St. Pierre from behind his own net tries to find Lefley. Pass got broken out the first time, but he's able to connect the second time. Leftly, though, unable to hold on to it. St. Pierre down the left wing through the neutral zone. Cuts to the middle of the ice. His teammate there just couldn't stay on side. Trying to drag that back foot, but he was moving a little too quick. We get an offside call here. Labonte wins the draw for the Elks. They quickly move up ice as Labonte, right at center ice. Chips it into the corner for Roy to chase it down. Roy with it now. Cycles it back to Labonte. Now to Roy at the side of the goal. He tried to step out in the front, but it got knocked off his stick by the, the goalie's paddle. Now Labonte carries it out from the corner. Tries to walk around St. Pierre, but Got bodied off the puck, and the Rangers able to clear it down the ice. Rangers force a turnover and fire a quick shot. Looked like it catched Bouillon just a little bit off guard, but quick reaction to make the save and hold on for the draw. Nine fifty one remaining now in the opening period, still a scoreless hockey game. The Elks leading on the shot counter nine to six. It's been a pretty even game so far through the first half period. The Elks play it behind their own net. And now up ice quickly. Whitford to Beatty. The Beatty heard footsteps coming and 
couldn't handle that pass as there was plenty of pressure right in his face. Rangers able to get it to the neutral zone, but not much further. Now they gather once again at their own blue line. Dump it in behind the elk point net. Now loose puck in front as that puck took a weird hop off the boards behind the net. Caught Bouillon off guard and it popped out to the side of the goal. Lazarek had a chance with a wide open net. He wasn't able to get it to, his, to a good shooting angle in time. And Bouillon made the save with his paddle and now a chance in front is the Rangers had a quick breakaway. Weaker put the shot over the net, though. Early morning practices, late night team meetings, fundraising, great sales and road trips, big home parents, and full time family. That's why ATV is designed to be presented and offered for the rest we have to celebrate the season and thank you for your commitment to your kid and other. Now Boomgarden placed off the glass to Weger who chips it forward. Boomgarden, or sorry, Weger picks it up, crosses the blue line, fires a shot and a glove save made by Bouillon. Not able to hold on to it initially, but jumps on top of it and freezes that puck. Bont wins the faceoff for the Elks. And now from their own end, trying to clear it out of harm's way. It's Bont with the puck. Now he crosses the blue line. Goes to his backhand, skating on the left wing, and now fires a shot that looks like it got deflected in front of the net, but that deflection may have been what sent it wide. Now Moen picks it up for the Elks. Slams in the brakes, turns around, gives himself a little space and time. He just flips it out to center ice. Gagne trying to move it up to Lebon. He gets it there, and now they're off to the races if they can get there in time. But Wells was the first to the pocket. He jumps on it. They freeze things and break up that potential 2 on 0 rush. Seven minutes, 20 seconds remaining now is... We approach first intermission in this scoreless hockey game. The Rangers chip it out to center ice. The Elks had a good chance to start a bit of a rush there, but couldn't get a hold of the rolling puck. It's so now Leftley along the boards. Chips it forward to St. Pierre, one hand, and St. Pierre with the centering pass from behind the net, but couldn't find his teammate in the slot. The Elks played in deep, but it ends up right next to the crease, and Wells holds on to that one. To slow things down for a second. A couple fresh bodies for both sides. So they line up for the faceoff now, and the Rangers come away with it. It's McNeil behind his net. He's being harassed with a forecheck. He's not able to get it out of the zone, but Leftley does. And now St. Pierre trying to make something happen, but he had about three Elks players right up in his face and applied enough pressure to force a turnover. Now the Elks, the offensive zone, but they get their pocket pick too. The Rangers now come the other way. Leftley down the left wing. Dosses it in front of the net. Can't get a teammate on the back post, though. And now St. Pierre from behind the net just threw it out in front and ends up in the neutral zone. Now mapping at his own blue line. Spins around and gets it to Boomgarden. 
Wingard carries across the line, fires and scores! The Rangers take a 1 0 lead in the first period. It's the big defenseman, Boomgarden. He comes in and fires a shot through a screen. Catches the inside of the far post, just underneath the blocker of Bouillon, and it ends up in the back of the net. But the Rangers up 1 0 with 5.37 left in the first period. Rangers now almost had themselves a two on one rush. The puck was moving just a little bit too quick, and now we're going to get a looks like a Rangers power play here. I apologize. It's going to be an Elks power play. That's going to be a charging penalty. Two minutes to Kurt Konopelka. As the Elks will get their first power play of the night. Looking to even this game at one apiece with five minutes left in the first period. Elks win the draw. Now Labatt gets it up to Beatty at the point. Beatty goes across the way. Now Roy with a chance in front. Not able to get a shot all the way to the goal, though, as there's some traffic in front. And now the Rangers able to clear the zone, send it all the way down where Bouyen stops that and leaves it there for Beatty. Beatty right up the middle of the ice. Slides it to Roy on the far side. He sends it in deep where Labonte's there to chase it down. But there's also two Rangers there. And they come away with the puck. Send it all the way down the ice once again. Lestrowski from behind his net. Gets it to Gagne to Labonte. He chips it in behind the Rangers net. Boobgarden picks it up there. He's not able to clear the zone. Now Beatty from the left point tries to feed it down low to Labonte, but Rangers are able to get a stick in the lane. It was McNeil who broke that up and then picked up the puck and cleared it down the ice. Down to 40 seconds remaining in this Elk Point power play. And now St. Pierre causing problems in front, forcing a turnover behind the Elks net, but he can't do anything with it. He's going to go for a change. And the Elks now with a chance to set something up one last time on this power play. It's Beattie who's been out here for the full extra man advantage. Slides it over to Wood. Wood to the right point. A hard shot, but the save made by Wells. He's able to control that rebound at the top of his crease. And now just 13 seconds remaining in the Conopelka penalty. And he's standing and ready to go. Elks fighting for the puck off the draw. Wood had it lost in his skates for a second. And now Coots is able to get to it first at the point. We're back to full strength hockey as the Elks try to keep some pressure on by keeping the puck in low. And now we're going to get a hand pass called as Coots had swatted it out of the air to try and keep it in the offensive zone. So 2.53 left in the first period. Back to five-on-five five hockey and still a one nothing game in favor of the Spirit River Rangers out of the Northeast Hockey League. Elks win the draw, but a little too strong for Moen, who had to circle all the way back into his own end to pick that up. Gagne gets it out to center ice. But the Rangers come away with it. Smiley sends it to the far corner. But Coots there to pick it up, giving the Elks a chance to start a rush. Roy in the neutral zone now. 
Sends it to Moen. That pass to Gagne was right through the wickets. He had no chance of picking up that hard pass and turns into an icing call. Now the Rangers win the draw. From the point, the shot is blocked by Gagne. Ends up behind the net. St. Pierre's back there. So was Leffley, but the Elks come away with it. And now Leffley with a booming hit. Absolutely bone crushing. To really set the tone physically, but then the Rangers probably go offside a couple seconds later. And there was a little bit of that momentum, but these Spirit River Rangers are starting to find their groove here this afternoon. Elks win the draw. They get control of it in the offensive zone. Now a chance in front and that shot from Wood the one timer went well wide of the net. And we got a delayed penalty coming up on the Rangers. And there's the whistle. And so we're going to get an interference penalty on uh, number 13, who doesn't have a name on his jersey, but I think he is one of the Leftleys on this team. So the Elks now with another power play opportunity. That shot from the point was blocked, and now a chance with a redirect in front from Gagne. But the save is made once again. Rebound ends up in the corner. Beatty from the point. He sends a cross-ice pass and a big one-timer from Laschowski. But another good save by Wells. Things are getting physical down low as Boomgarden throws a huge hit behind the net. And a chance from point, uh, point blank range. But a Wells made the save and well, pushing and shoving down there after the whistle as things are starting to get a little chippy here with 103 remaining in the opening period. Bouillon comes out of his net to play the puck, rings it up the boards, but Beattie has to reverse course and send it down low to Laschowski to avoid the forecheck. Now Beattie gets it back down the left wing. He carries it across the blue line, leaves it there for Gagne, but the Rangers able to take a whack at it and send the puck in the neutral zone. 30 seconds remaining here in this opening period. If the Elks don't manage to score before the buzzer sounds, they'll start the second period with a power play of about 25 seconds. And it appears that's going to be the case as the Rangers have control of the puck. And it's Mappin carrying it all the way into his own end. Takes a look up at the clock and sees that the buzzer's about to sound, and there it is. So that's it for the opening 20 minutes of day two here in Wainwright at the Senior AA Provincial Championships. It's a one nothing lead for the Spirit River Rangers, but they're going to still be on the penalty kill when they return for the start of the second period. 25 seconds left with the man advantage for the Elks as they look to find their opening goal of the evening. We're going to take a little break for intermission, about 20 minutes, and we'll be back with you soon for the start of the second period.
we are back and ready for the start of this second period. Teams switch sides and the Elks now ready to start the second period with 25 seconds left on a power play. But the Rangers win the opening draw and send the puck down the ice. Killing time off this early man advantage for the Elks. The Elks able to work it in deep. Lonsberry there along the boards, fighting for it. He gets it to Whitney. And now Beattie from the point steps around the sprawling defender. We're back to five on five hockey now as Beattie puts a sharp angle shot on goal. Now wraparound chance and a good opportunity there for Lischowski. But Wells comes up big and makes a save on the wraparound chance and the second opportunity on the rebound. Bond with a chance right off the faceoff. Another good save made by Wells. We'll save there. Carries it right up the middle of the ice, crosses the blue line. Spins around and fires one to the front of the net. But the Elks come away with that puck. And now the Elks trying to send it up ice, flip one over the glass and into the seats. We're going to face off down in Elk Point territory. Elks come away with it off the faceoff and bang it off the boards into the neutral zone. That's Western. The crowd support will probably go to the potential champions. This is good luck to all of them. Wherever you are to see, this Western is there. He's the hockey on the road. This Western is the first. Now Leftley carries it over the blue line, leaves it there for Sather. Back down to Leftley and now a chance on the back post. A great little passing play there as Mappin was almost... The beneficiary of a little tic-tac-toe play, but he couldn't put one home on the back post. Now the Elks pick it up in the offensive zone. Labonte sends it across to Roy. Roy fans in the shot. But Coots is there to keep it in the zone along the boards. Labonte, a little back, or, uh, backhand between the legs. Play it up to his forehand. Now he gets it up to Coots at the point. Back to Labonte. Labonte's shot is wide of the net. But it ricochets off the boards and right onto an elk stick. It's now Coots. He fires one on goal and a tip right at the top of the crease from Roy. From Roy. But another good save made by Wells and he holds on for the faceoff. Two minutes gone in the second period now and the Rangers still holding on to their 1 0 lead. Trying to avoid a loss that would, the loser of this game would all but be guaranteed a spot in the bronze medal game. The winner would have their hopes still well alive for a chance at the gold medal contest on Sunday afternoon. That'll be an icing call against the Rangers. And we'll come down to the other end for a face-off. Face off one by the Elks, but the Rangers were able to get a whack at it and send it down the ice. Not far enough for icing. As Beatty hustles down and picks it up, dances around a four checker. Now, right through the middle of the ice, bobbing and weaving. Tries to work it out in front, gets it to Wood, and his shot goes just wide as he had a great opportunity there. Now it's Whitney going, weaving through traffic and trying to get it to his backhand, but a good poke check by Wells broke that up. Nice defensive play by the goaltender. Now St. Pierre carries to cross the blue line, but loses the puck while stick handling into the zone. That gives, gives the Elks a chance to move it up ice. They can't get out of the zone on the first try. They do on the second. And now they send the puck in deep. Comes off the glass and ends up right on, on the stick of... Oschowski. His shot ends up right in the chest of the goaltender. The 
Rangers come away with it off the draw. They tried to shovel it forward to get out of the zone. And now they do. It's Weger fighting off a couple defenders draped all over him, and he ends up putting the puck on net where Bouillon holds on for the faceoff. Elks win the draw. And now from the neutral zone, they cross the blue line. A great chance here. And good shot put on goal by Karbachewski, but another good save made as Wells continues to stand his ground. Now the Rangers win the draw on their own end. Boomgarden with the puck. Knights goal scorer to give the Rangers a 1-0 lead. And they feather it into the corner. Facing it down, and now the Elks are going to get a power play here. Looks like it's going to be a slew foot trip call. And the Elks with their... Third straight power play opportunity here as they look to finally cash in on one. As they still trail by one goal in this contest. Konopelko once again heading to the box. That's his second consecutive penalty. It's just an unlucky slew foot trip in the corner there as a couple players have gone into the boards together and got a little tied up and the refs decided that he needed to uh, serve the time for that tripping crime. Levant carries around behind the net, but his pass is deflected and ends up on a Rangers stick, and they're able to clear. Bouillon comes out to play it, brings it around the boards, but there's nothing but Rangers there in the neutral zone waiting for it. Boomgarden carries it across the blue line. He's got some speed down the right wing, tries to go to the backhand pass. Looking for map and right out in front, and a good chance shorthanded, but it does not come to fruition. Now the Elks will try to set up their power play unit here. Roy in the corner, sends it to Labonte behind the net. Back to Roy. He's got Leschowski on the point, but he's looking elsewhere, trying to find a passing lane. Now it makes its way to Leschowski. He spins around, trying to Reset things and gets it to Labonte. Now chance on the other side and they score! It's Beatty creeping down from the left point. Got the Rangers off guard. They didn't see him sneaking down into the slot. And a perfect pass from Labonte. And a good conversion from Beatty to finally cash in on the power play and tie this game at one goal apiece as we're five minutes into the second period. Elks win the ensuing draw. But they turn it over here right in front of the net. A chance for the Rangers. But they're not able to hold on to that puck. Beatty, the goal scorer, picks it up. Quickly moves it up ice. Now Wood has to chase it down. He can't get there in time. And now the Rangers are going to be able to clear. Weger with the puck. He crosses the blue line. Goes for a backhand shot that trickles through the crease and out towards the point. Whitney now crosses the blue line with speed around the outside. Tries to cut to the middle of the ice and put a little soft backhand shot on goal, but that was kicked away easily by Wells. Now Whitney, point blank in the slot, and he scores! Just like that, it's a 2-1 lead for the Elk Point Elks as Whitney fires one low five-hole right through the wickets of Wells. Give the Elks their first lead of the tournament.
And just like that, all the momentum is on Elk Point's side to score a pair of quick goals. Give themselves a lead. And now the Rangers are going to be the ones looking to tie things up here. The puck trickles in on goal and Bouyen holds onto it. Just under 14 minutes to go in the second period. And what's turning out to be a pretty good hockey game. Chowski wins the draw for Elk Point. But now Leftley with a chance from the side of the goal. His sharp angle shot actually hit the side of the net. Now the Elks are going to have to try and clear. Heavy forecheck here by the Rangers. Forces a turnover behind the net. Lonsbury has it pinned on the wall for... Just a moment before Laschowski picks it up, sends it in deep, and now the Elks are going to go for a full service change. Bont and Coots looking for it for the Elks along the boards, but the Rangers come away with it and then promptly go offside. So we're going to face off here just outside the Elk Point blue line. I apologize. It's going to be just outside the Rangers blue line. Is calling that an intentional offside. Rangers with it now. Working up the boards. It's Lazaruk sending it deep. Coots is there to pick it up in the corner. He goes all the way across the ice to Gagne. He can't hold on to it, so he's got to slam on the brakes to stay on side. It ends up on Lebon's stick. He carries it all the way around the zone. Eventually, it gets knocked off his stick. And the Rangers is able to pick it up and slow things down behind their own net. A little back and forth in the neutral zone. Eventually, the Rangers are able to control it long enough to send it in deep. But the Elks get it right back, and now Levant crosses the blue line, chipping it forward for Gagne. Levant gets it back, but he got pinned against the boards by Boomgarden, the big defenseman. Giving the Rangers a chance to come up ice and fire a shot on goal, but easy save made there. Elks win the draw, and it's Beatty playing it off the boards. He finds Whitney, the recent goal scorer, in the neutral zone. He fires a shot, but a kick save made by Wells. Rangers get a hold of the rebound, but they lose it as they ring it up the boards. Whitney has it in the corner now. He's got Wood with him. Wood plays it up to the point. Beatty with a long shot right in the chest of Wells and held on to for the faceoff. We're down to 11 and a half minutes remaining in the second period. New forward line for the Elks. Centered by Lischowski. Steps into the faceoff against the captain, Lefley. And Lefley wins it. Sather tries to go across ice, but it's knocked down out of the air. And the Elks now enter the zone. Rangers come away with it now, and it's mapping coming down the right or the left wing. Not able to cut to the middle of the ice. Lost control of the puck, but his teammate picks it up. I believe that's Sather with it. He goes cross ice. A hard shot goes over the net. Rangers pick it up once again. The 
The Elks now eventually able to get a hold of it. They send it down the ice, and that's going to go all the way for icing. We'll bring it back down to the other end. In fact, quite the flip since early in this game for about the first half of the first period. The Rangers were holding on to a 1-0 lead and definitely leading on the shot clock. And now the Elks up 2-1 on the scoreboard and leading 19-14 in shots. Of course, three straight power plays will help boost those numbers. But now, just as I say that, they're going to be on the pedal to kill. It's going to be Leschowski going to the box. Two minutes for hooking. And the Rangers now with a chance with the extra man to even things up at two goals apiece. The Elks win the draw here, and now Coots trying to chip it forward. But he can't beat the forecheck. Eventually, the, the Elks do come away with it. And now Smiley in the corner plays it over to Sather. Sather taking his time through his own zone. Slides up to Uyghur and his quick shot. Nice quick release, but good reaction by Bouyen to make a kick save. Lonsberry gets in the passing lane and breaks that up and the puck ricochets out into the neutral zone so the Rangers have to tag up. Now in the corner, Uyghur with it. Gets it to Smiley, who steps around a defender. But his shot was blocked. And now Sather just gets it in deep. Wraparound attempt, but a save made by Bouillon. And now a loose puck in the crease. Nobody can get a hold of it. Eventually, the Elks do. They're just going to chip it forward and slowly clear it down the ice and go for a full line change, but a bad line change because now the Rangers have a 2 on 0 and They go to the backhand and they score! The Rangers tie it up. At 2-2, taking advantage of a poorly timed elk point line change in the middle of the penalty kill. I think they thought that the puck had gotten in deep enough to go for a change, but that dump attempt was fanned on a bit, and it barely even made it to the Rangers' blue line. All the defenseman had to do, say there, all he had to do was turn around and fire the pass up ice, and the Rangers were off to the races on a 2-on-0. And now it's going to be offside on the Rangers as they were trying to get a rush going in transition. We got 8.47 remaining in the second period in what's now a 2-2 hockey game. Captain wins the draw and Leffley sends it in behind the Elk Point net. Beatty there to play it up to Whitney. But McNeil thwarts that clearing attempt. And now Mappin slides it over to Sather, but he can't kick it up to a stick in time. And the Elks get a hold of it. And now with speed, Whitford with a nifty little move. Runs the nutmeg on McNeil right through the legs. Gets a shot on goal, but... Wells with the save. Freeze it here for a face-off. Rangers come away with the puck on the draw, and they draw a penalty as well. And now the goaltender... Ends up playing the puck. And we might have an interesting situation here. The goaltender is on his way to the bench as well. Heading to the bench for the extra attacker. 
And here is a delayed penalty on Elk Point. And the puck came loose right in front of the Rangers' bench. Wells tried to play it up to a teammate. We'll see what the situation is here. They look like they may have signaled a penalty towards Wells. And that is going to be the case. So the Rangers' power play goes by the wayside. As I believe it's going to be an interference penalty on Wells. And it's going to be a tripping penalty on Elk Point. I didn't catch who it went to the box. So Wells, who was on his way to the bench for the extra attacker because there's a power play coming, takes a penalty himself in the process. And now we've got offsetting minors, and we remain with five on five hockey. Well, it's going to be an illegal player, they call it, as the goaltender played the puck way out past center ice. And it's going to be a slash on Ori Wood. Now a chance right in front, a beautiful save by Bullion sticking out that right pad. Putting a stop to that two-on-one rush. And now the Elks come away with it off the rebound. It's Laschowski who just sends it in on net. Ends up in the chest of Wells, and he holds on for the faceoff as we're down to seven minutes, 19 seconds left in the second period in this hockey game that's all knotted up at two apiece. Rangers win the faceoff, and now Smiley from behind his own net. He flips it up in the air. And it gets knocked down by an Elks player. Ends up on a Rangers stick, though, and they fire a hard shot from the high slot. And save made. Poots chips it forward, and Lamont's there to pick it up. He's got a man on the far side. Trying to find Roy right near the back post, but that pass was a little out of his reach. Now the Rangers starting to break out. They get into the offensive zone, but not very deep. The Elks able to flip it out into neutral ice. Rangers now cross the blue line. It's Weger with it. He loses it momentarily. Not able to get control enough to pull the trigger on a shot. But he gets he does get it back. And this pass is intercepted. And now the Elks come the other way. It's Labont. He's got Roy behind him. Labont takes it himself trying to drive the net. But he gets knocked off his stick at the last second. The Elks able to keep it in the zone, though. Only for the time being is... But cross the blue line. Now they got to tag up. They're going to go for a line change. Cross size pass. Finds Whitney. The Elks just stay on side. Whitney down the left wing. He tries to charge the net on the backhand. They get a couple shots at it there, but Wells stands tall at the side of his. Or pinned up against the post. Lazarek now carries it down the right wing. He fires a shot. And Bullion with a good save. Whitney right through the middle of the ice. Nearly split the D and sprung himself on a bit of a breakaway. But good play made by McNeil to break it up. And now McNeil carries the puck down ice. Crosses blue line and fires a shot that caught Bullion kind of in the armpit area. He wasn't able to hold on to it, and the rebound ends up on a Ranger stick. But the Elks get it back long enough to clear the zone. But the Rangers get it in quickly, and they got plenty of men there to support the dump and chase. It's Lefley right by the right faceoff dot. He tries a backhand pass in front of the net, but it's knocked down. 
Now from the point, Boomgarden with a hard shot. The save is made. Rebound ends up coming out to an out stick. And now Roy picks it up. He's not able to get it cleanly, though, or else he would have been off to the races. Now the Rangers with an odd man rush the other way. That cross ice pass doesn't connect. But Leftley gets it back only for a second as the Elks knock it away, clear it into the neutral zone, and now Roy picks it up. Roy bobbing and weaving through the offensive zone, but his shot is blocked. And as he's pinned up in the, against the wall in the corner, three Rangers converge and steal the puck away. Three and a half minutes to go in this second period. Still a 2-2 hockey game. And now Lazarek with it at center ice. Ships it up to Leftley. The Elks able to get a hold of it and clear the zone. And now Labonte with the puck. One too many moves trying to get around the defender. He loses control. And now a bad pass from Ross that was way out of the reach of Mappin. Ends up being an icing call. Face off one by the Elks and Lonsberry tries a shot with a knuckle puck. That one's blocked. The Rangers somehow stay on side there as Leftley had to make a couple extra moves in order to avoid the defender at the blue line. Now Whitney steps around a four checker, carries it himself, cuts to the outside on the right wing and now in behind the net. Spins around in the corner. Back out towards the faceoff dot. Gets it to Lonsbury on the other side. He shoots and he scores! A wonderful individual effort by Lonsbury. Sets up that goal. Sorry. Solo effort by Whitney. Carried it in. Danced around. Sidestepped a number of defenders and found Lonsbury just waiting there. Right above the right face-off circle. And he made no mistake putting that one home blocker side to regain the lead for the Elk Point Elks with 227 left in the second period. Rangers win the following draw. Third goal, start number 18, Faye Monterey. Assistant number 10, Curtis Whitney. On the goal, 227, Monterey. From now the Rangers force a turnover deep in Elks territory. Lazarek gets it to Weger and his sharp angle shot scoots off into the corner. Now Gagne carries it down the left wing. A little toe drag. Get around the defender. But didn't get much on the shot. Now the Rangers... With a chance to clear it, but they flip it up in the air a little too high and ends up in the Raptors. So we'll get a face off here in Rangers territory. Elk Point eventually gets possession of it off the draw, but it had come out into the neutral zone. So Wachowski dumps it in, giving the Rangers a chance to regain possession and move it up ice quickly. It's St. Pierre down the left wing. He fans on the shot, which is a rolling puck. Eventually, it gets swatted towards the goal, and Bouillon scoops it up off the ice. Boy, both these teams lost in... One-sided games yesterday. But they both, both squads look like a whole different team today. Playing their hearts out here on day two of the Senior AA Provincial Championships. Yeah. 
One minute left in the second period. As the Rangers cross the blue line. It's St. Pierre with the puck. He drops it there for Lefley. And now St. Pierre gets it back. Spins around against the boards, but loses control, and now Whitney picks it up. Can't clear the zone, though, and now with about 35 seconds left in the clock, Whitney will get it again along the half boards. He'll flip it up in the air. Wood's there to pick it up and plays it across to Whitford. That was 25 seconds to go. We're going to get a penalty. It's going to be an elk point power play here. As they're going to end the second period on the power play just as they did the first. Leftly heading to the box as the Elks get their power play unit out there and try to extend this lead before the buzzer sounds in 24.7 seconds. Rangers win the draw, but the Elks force a turnover real quick. Now it's Gagne with it along the boards. He gets absolutely tossed into the wall. But Labonte picks it up, gets it to the point. It's Beatty in the high slot. His shot was deflected over the net. And now the puck right at the side of the goal is covered up by the blocker. Of Wells and... There's 3.3 seconds left of this period, so maybe a quick chance for the Elks if they can win the draw cleanly. Beatty's going to step in and take it. And the Rangers win it, and that's going to do it. For the second frame in this one, it's a 3-2 lead for the Elk Point Elks as they scored three Elk times in this period. They're going to start the third period with a minute 36 of power play time, looking to extend that lead. We're going to take a break for intermission as these guys rest up and regroup, and we'll be back with you soon for the start of the third period. Don't go far.
Welcome back, folks, to the start of the third period. You're just joining us. It's a 3-2 lead for the Elk Point Elks. And they're starting this third period with a minute 36 remaining on a power play. The Rangers get a hold of the puck first in this period. Taking their time and sending it all the way down. Now Labonte carries the puck across the blue line on the right wing. Leaves it there for Gagne, who just chips it into the corner. But the Rangers get there first and clear once again. Now Laschowski at center ice. Sends it to Gagne. Gagne tries to feed it to the top of the crease, but the Rangers pick off that pass. And clear again. It's Leftly on the forecheck. Forcing the Ox to circle back. Now 30 seconds remaining on this power play. Yelks get it deep. And they are able to keep it in the zone. Now Roy loses control of it. And the Rangers chip it forward. And that might be enough to kill off the remainder of this penalty. Abant crosses the blue line. Spins and fires one through a screen. But Wells with the save with the shoulder. And now we're back to 5-on-5 five five hockey as Leftly comes out of the box. Mappin down the right wing, crosses the blue line, comes in and fires in a save made by the shoulder of Bouyen. The Elks played down the ice, and it would have been icing had it not been right on goal. So Wells steers it aside and lets his defenseman pick it up. Now Lonsberry is trailing the play and picks up a loose puck in the neutral zone, drops it to Wood, and Wood's shot goes wide of the net. Wood chips it in deep. Now he's going to keep his feet moving and get in there on the forecheck. But the Rangers able to avoid that and clear the zone. McNeil carries it across the line. Slams from the brakes, tries to cut back towards the middle of the ice, and he draws a penalty, keeping his feet moving, and he draws a hook. And the Rangers are now going to get their third power play opportunity of the game. It's going to be Whitney heading to the box, serving two minutes for a hooking penalty. Rangers win the draw. It's Smiley at the point. Feeds it to Sather. The other Sather. Now a shot with a redirect right in the slot. But that puck misses the net, and the Elks able to clear it. Now we got another penalty coming. And that Rangers power play only lasted 19 seconds. That's the second time this game that they have shot themselves in the foot by taking a penalty while on or preparing for a power play. It's the captain, Leftly heading to the box. Now we'll have a minute 41 of four-on-four four hockey. Now say they're in the corner battling with a couple Elks players. Mappin jumps in to help him out. Mappin gets it free and shovels it forward to say there. But Beatty picks his pocket, takes it away, and turns it up ice. He carries it himself all the way across the blue line, and now a shot from Labonte in the high slot misses the net. Just finally picks it up. Cuts to the middle of the ice, plays it down low, and now the Rangers with a chance in front, and they score! 
It's say they're jamming home a loose puck in the crease. And we're back to a tied hockey game. It's 3-3 with 16 minutes and change left in the third period. Now the Rangers win the draw, of course, will remain at four on four hockey. Now McNeil pokes it forward and he's got some space and time. McNeil coming in, tries to go to the short side over Bouyen's right pad, but couldn't get it up high enough. Rangers maintain possession in the offensive zone. They go to the back door. Now a chance right out in front. It was Boomgarden. Couldn't get enough on it to beat Bouillon that time. And now the Elks have numbers if they hustle. They cross the blue line. That shot was blocked. And we're only a few seconds away now. From five on five hockey once again. As Lefley is standing and ready to exit the penalty box. The Elks with a long shot from Lonsbury. Rebound ends up in the corner, and there's a bit of a battle there for it. And Whitney comes away with it. But he gets his stick tied up, and the Ranger is able to steal it back. Now off to the races. It's a two-on-two -two rush, and the Rangers with a chance. That aerial pass it was knocked down by St. Pierre, but he couldn't jam it home. And now an odd man rush the other way. It's LeBanc carrying the puck. He comes in, fires, and scores! LeBanc regains the lead for the Elks. And we've been going back and forth nonstop here for about 25 minutes of hockey. Results in a 4-3 lead for the Elks with just under 15 minutes to go in the third period. Elks win the draw. So they look to add to their momentum here and their lead. Chance in front. And Roy's backhander was kicked away by Wells. And now the Rangers collect the rebound and come up ice to St. Pierre with it. Slides it over to Lefley. And that one goes off the crossfire and into the netting. Smiley now sends it into the far corner where St. Pierre chases it down. Uyghur with it now. Sends it to Sather, and his shot was a bit of a knuckleball from the point, and now a chance in front again for Uyghur. But Bouillon kicks that one away. Rangers get it back again and enter the zone. Uyghur with a chance in front. That shot went just wide. So he had a point-blank opportunity, and now we're going to maybe have a fight here. It's Uyghur dropped his stick. Looked like he was ready to drop the gloves. He's ready to fight anybody. And he's going to be heading to the penalty box, that's for sure. It's going to be a slashing call on Weger. And now the Elks, holding on to a one-goal lead, are going to get a power play chance. Weger's going to be getting two for slashing and four for spearing. Talk about an extended power play. The Elks 
if they don't score, could potentially play half the remainder the remaining time of this game on the power play. Some discussion at the timekeeper's booth. I think they were deciding whether this will be concurrent penalties or if they'll need to send another man to the box, but it's going to be six minutes of the box for Uyghur as the Elks power play now goes to work and they got plenty of time to work with. Feedy at the point looking for a tip in front, but it was tipped wide. Four minutes for spirit on both now at the point, hard shot from Whitney, rings around the glass and ends up on Beattie's stick. Now the Rangers have a chance to clear. Send it down the ice. Now they get into the zone. It's Wood sliding it over to Beatty. Beatty's shot from the point is blocked and ends up at center ice. And Lischowski is there to pick it up. Lischowski goes cross ice to Wood. Back to Lischowski once again. He goes right through the middle of the ice, fakes the shot, gets it in low. And now Levant slides it up to Roy. Levant's open in the slot. He gets the puck. He shoots, but it's over the net. So he had a bit of a rolling puck there and couldn't settle it down. Beattie keeps it in at the blue line. Roy trying to dig it out of a defender skates. But Lazarek's able to get a hold of it for the Rangers and clear once again. Lunsbury plays it off the wall. But the Rangers get a hold of it, and now Mappin comes the other way. Mappin looking for a shorthanded chance. Coots knocks it off his stick the first time. Mappin got it back, but then threw a bit of a reverse body check and... Lost the puck in the process. Now Lonsberry gets it deep. 11 minutes to go in this third period. The Elks still with more than three and a half minutes on the power play remaining. Labonte crosses the blue line, but Roy was a little impatient on the far side as he took a stride over the blue line before Labonte did. So with... Three and a half minutes left in the power play. We're going to get a face-off just outside the Rangers' blue line. Beauty with it now on his own end. Feeds it to Whitney, who avoids the defender. And with lots of speed, steps out in front of the net as he was flying down the right wing, but good save was made. Now Whitney with another chance in front. Whitford took a whack at it as well, but well stood his ground and kept that one out of the back of the net. Now the Rangers able to clear, and Bouillon came out of his net to play ahead and avoid the four-checker. Halfway through the third period now, still a one-goal lead for the Elks as they continue to work on the power play. Beattie with a shot from the point, and now a second chance on the rebound. Shoveled wide by Whitford. 
Wachowski gets it up to Beattie at the point again. He fires once again, and a blocker save made that time. And the Rangers clear. Rangers have killed off the first four minutes of this six-minute penalty kill. Nearly took another hooking penalty there, but got away with it. And now they're able to clear the zone once again. Wachowski's going to carry it himself as there's no passing lane available. They get it over to Lonsberry. Lonsberry shoots. Easy save made and the rebound steered into the corner. Now Labonte has it. Tries to feed it over to Lachowski. But it got deflected and took its time getting there. So he just had to play it into the corner. Now it comes back to him. Over to Lonsberry on the left side. He bobbled that a little bit. So again, just had to play it in behind the net. And there's a battle there now, which the Rangers win and send it all the way down the ice. In the final minute of this six-minute penalty, Whitney bounces off a body check, picks up the puck, crosses the blue line. He's got a teammate on the other side, but he keeps it. Tries to go to the back post looking for Whitford. But it was picked off, and the Rangers come down ice. It's Leffley skating it into the corner. Leaves it there for Lazaric. Lazaric trying to pin it against the wall and kill even more time off this penalty. But the Elks come away with it. It's Beatty once again. Crosses the blue line on the left wing. And leaves it there for Whitford who got dumped. And he's not too pleased about it. Wood gets it to the point. Now Beatty sends it back to Wood. Beatty on the point once again. And now the penalty is expired. We're back to full strength hockey. The Rangers killing off six minutes of penalty kill time, and they might have a chance here. But they fumble that opportunity, and the Elks come the other way. Now trying to spring Gagne in a breakaway, but it was just out of his reach. And Wells is able to cover that up with seven minutes, seven seconds remaining in this third period. Elks win the draw. Get it to Labonte. Centering pass to Roy right above the crease. But he can't jam it home and he sends it back up to the point. Labonte in the corner now being harassed by McNeil. Labonte steps around him and puts a high shot on goal. Knocked down by Wells and then he jumps on top of it. Time ticking down on the Rangers to find that tying goal. The Elks continue to cycle it through the offensive zone. Rangers just come away with it, though. And they get it out to Sather. He loses control of it for a second, and now he sends it over to Leffley, but he can't control that pass either. And the Elks get a hold of it, send it deep. As we're nearing six minutes remaining in the third period. Stabler sends it in and it ends up right on goal. So Wells is able to hold on to it. Another face-off win for the Elks. They've looked good in the dot so far in this third period. Most of the game, in fact. And now Stabler battling in the corner. 
but it's Smiley who comes away with it. Rangers enter the zone now. Weger chases it into the corner. He gets upended behind the net. Now the Elks get it out into the neutral zone. Five and a half minutes to go. Beatty's pass got knocked down by St. Pierre and almost ended up trickling on goal. But now the Elks pick it up, come the other way. Leschewski had Whitney wide open, streaking down the right wing, but the pass was well behind him. And now the Rangers trying to get things moving and get some, spark some offense here as time ticks down. Weger picks it up. But he loses it, and the Elks then turn it over themselves, and Weger has it once again. Flips it to his backhand, tries to go back to the forehand as he cuts to the middle of the ice, but lost control of it. And then the Elks cleared it all the way down, and it's going to be an icing call. We got 4.27 to go in this one-goal hockey game. Now the Rangers with a quick chance off the faceoff. Good save by, made by Bullien. He wasn't able to control the rebound, but the Elks were able to get to it. Cleared out of harm's way. Now from the point, it's McNeil. He winds and fires. Save made by Bullien and a big rebound. Lands on Gagne's stick. He sends it up to Roy. He just tries to kill a little time in the offensive zone as his line mates went for a change. Mappin crosses the blue line, skates it in, cuts right in front of the net, goes to his backhand, but puck rolled off his stick. And now a shot from the point is blocked by Lonsbury. Lamont carries it himself. And he gets hauled down. Plays it in front to Gagne, but... Couldn't get enough on that. Lebont gets it back now, and he spins around along the boards, getting it deep into the corner, killing precious time off this game clock. But now the Rangers pick it up, and it's St. Pierre right down the middle of the ice. He cuts off to the right wing, tries to step around a defender, but Beatty stood him up right in his tracks. The Rangers want an interference penalty. But they're not going to get one. Now the Rangers get it in low and a sharp angle shot with a rebound that pops straight up in the air. Landed right at the top of the crease, but nobody could get a handle on it. Leftly, across the blue line, he gets hauled down from behind. Or gets hit from behind. And they get a shot for the point. And the second opportunity is Leftly with a great chance on the rebound. Couldn't bury it. They're able to keep it in the zone once again. Rangers bringing all kinds of pressure as we approach the final two minutes of this third period. They just can't get a shot off. The puck keeps rolling off their stick. Now to Smiley at the point. He sends a backhand down low, but the Elks able to knock it down. Not able to clear the zone, though. It's Coots from the corner. Swings it around the boards, and it does clear the zone. Roy picks it up right in front of the benches and sends it in behind the net. No icing here after the Rangers sent it 200 feet down the ice. They say it was tipped. And now Boomgarden in his own end. There's a minute 35 remaining in this third period. You got to think the Rangers will be thinking about getting Wells to the bench pretty soon. He's motioning to the bench, trying to find out what to do. But the Elks regain possession of the puck, so he's got to stay put for the time being. Rangers now move it up ice. It's Mappin crossing the blue line. Wells heads to the bench. The extra skater is coming on. 
Six on five hockey as the Rangers look for the tying goal with a minute and five seconds remaining in this game. Boomgarden chases it back in his own end, sends it to McNeil. McNeil right through the middle of the ice, cuts to the middle, puts a weak shot towards the net that goes wide. And they send it out in front of the score! St. Pierre just tossed one into the crease. But the referee waves that off, says no goal. Let's see if we get an explanation on this. I'm going to watch my replay here and see what I can figure out on my own. McNeil carried it in. And then St. Pierre just tossed it in front. Looks like it might have been kicked, maybe. I don't see any goaltender interference there. We'll see what the decision is as the officials gather just inside the Elk Point Blue Line to discuss this, and they say no goal. Rangers captain Lefley is having some words with the official. He's none too pleased. Not quite able to decipher the referee's reasoning for calling no goal. I'm thinking it might have been kicked, but I don't think we're going to get an official explanation. So now the Rangers take a timeout to regroup themselves after that roller coaster of emotions for them. That'll do it for the timeout. We've got 50.7 seconds left in this third period, and the Rangers still trailing by a goal after that one was called back. They'll have to try and beat Boulian one more time to draw this game to even. Wells is going to stay on the bench. It's going to be a six on five advantage here with the extra skater. Now Mappin carries across the blue line. Tries to set it in front, but it catches his own teammate, Leftley. And now play right in front. Leftley, the captain, with a spin around, trying to find one on the back, on the far side, back post, but. Couldn't put it on goal. Now the Rangers able to keep it in the zone. Leftly with a chance in front. Another chance in front as Mappin's shot was blocked. Now Sather from the corner tries to feed it in front of the net. And now the Rangers take a tripping penalty. And that might be the nail in the coffin for them as things are getting a little heated down there. The captain going after Beatty. Rangers flip the puck into the seats just now. That seems a little unsportsmanlike. -y. Captain Lefley had some very strong words for the official as he was heading to the penalty box. So with 18.2 seconds left, the Rangers are down a man. Wells has to come back onto the ice because the faceoff is right in front of him on his blocker hand side. The Elks win the draw. Shot from the point is swallowed up by Wells. Some Rangers fans in the building not too pleased with the officiating here in the final few minutes of the game. Letting the refs have it from the seats. Now Beatty from the point just plays across to an open wing. And now with no time on the clock, the Rangers send a long shot from about 150 feet out. No problem for Bouillon as the Elks coming out of the ice of celebration and surround their goaltender. 
after a 4-3 victory where he stopped 34 of 37 shots for the win. The Elks scoring four times, a couple on the power play on 45 shots in the game. And they pick up their first win of the tournament. Both teams are going to line up, and we're going to see who's been selected for player of the game. And now the Spirit River Rangers are going to have to bring their A game tomorrow against the Six Sakao Buffaloes, looking for their first win of the tournament. Spirit River, number 74, Going to be mapping for the Rangers and Whitney for the Elks. As they both receive a nice four pack of cold tall boys from Moonlight Bay Brewing. And that's going to do it for this first edition of Game Two Hockey from the Senior Double A Provincial Championships here in Wainwright. We're going to take a little break, but we'll be back in less than an hour for the second game of the day where we've got the Six Sicka Buffaloes against the host Wainwright Rustlers. Puck draw for that one will be 8.30 p.m. But we're going to take a little break until then, and we'll be back with you for the start of that game. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you soon.